Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm uh, right at the towers, as you can see. Uh, right in front of uh, the Syria KLCC Mall. And yeah, I'm just about to head back to my hotel. So actually I figured I'd just take you along with me for the walk so you can see where the hotel is. And where I'm staying tonight is kind of interesting. So I just did a video showing um, the last hotel I stayed at, which was the, uh, what was it, the Novotel. And I realized maybe some of you guys are coming uh, solo, maybe you're on a tighter budget. So I booked a few nights at a capsule hotel. Now the capsule hotel is called, uh, I think it's called The Bed KLCC. They also have another branch right by the Pavilion Shopping Mall. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you what it's like. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it actually. I think if I'm uh, traveling by myself, this is the play. I mean, in KL you can get really good um, rates on single rooms. So I guess this isn't the city where you'd have to do it. Like you can still get a room, a solo room by yourself if you wanted that uh, for a reasonable price here. But particularly if you're traveling, traveling to some more expensive cities, then capsule hotels are a pretty good play if you're rolling solo, right? Um, obviously, if you're with your wife or your girlfriend, you got someone else to impress, and you're, or if you're with a buddy and you're splitting it, then it makes more sense to get a room with better facilities. But yeah, as of right now, like I'm pretty happy with pretty much everything in this capsule. It's, it's kind of fun too. It feels like you're sleeping in a little fort. And uh, the facilities are very clean. They're constantly cleaning it. Uh, it's in a really good location as you can see. Okay, so actually speaking of the location, so right here as I mentioned, KLCC Mall, there's Petronas Towers. All I have to do is just walk down this street. So I just walk straight and then I'm gonna show you where it is when I turn. And it, yeah, it's super walkable. 10 minutes, I'd say 10 minutes tops. So great location. Um, but yeah, overall I'm, I'm really happy with, with the setup right now. Uh, I'm paying it's 84 ringgit, so I think that's around 600 and something baht. And for this location, it's pretty good. Now, of course, like I said, you can get a, your own room here. If you look on some of the travel sites, maybe hotels.com or whatever, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Um, you can find really good promotions, particularly if you book um, in advance. So they oftentimes have um, big promotions going on, but still maybe for the novelty of it too, maybe you just wanna try something different. Uh, yeah, I definitely re recommend this one for sure. So yeah, I'll just kind of I'll cut the video now and I'll show you where it is that I turn. Okay, so I'm just gonna actually I think I can walk down here. Yeah, so yeah, I'll just show you where it is that I turn. And remember, Petronas Towers is right there. And yeah, I'm just walking straight. All right, guys, catch up with you later. All right, so I just walked for another I say four minutes or so, and I'm approaching a few restaurants and, and bars. Okay, so right here on the right hand side is an Irish pub. It's called. Uh, Healy Max, Healy Mac. And then uh, the next place over, I actually used to eat at this place all the time. They had a really good salad. It's called Gravy Baby. I looked at the menu last night, trying to get the same thing I usually got. It's not there anymore. So I don't know why they switched it up, but they have a whole new menu. I remember the food being pretty good there, so you might want to give that a try. I want to try this place as well, Barbecue Nights. Just a lot of kebabs and whatnot over there. Some hummus. I'll probably try that definitely before I go. Maybe tomorrow. I just ate another um, another meal at uh, my favorite restaurant here, Madame Kwan's. Well, one of my favorite restaurants here. So no room for that, but maybe tomorrow I'll check that out. Look at this building right here. The I think it's like the XQ or something with all the the blue lights. Looks really cool next to Great Eastern. But yeah, okay. So we're gonna walk. Just walk a little bit beyond. There's the McDonald's right there. Don't recommend you eat that. Uh, we'll just walk a little bit beyond uh, the restaurants I just showed you. And you, what you're gonna do is hang a right. And you'll see actually this building here, it's called the Vortex KLCC. And I'm not even sure what this tower is called, but it looks, it looks really cool. Now, the hostel is actually in this Vortex building. Okay, and I've actually lived in this vortex building for about a month with my friend uh it was a pretty nice two-bedroom apartment with a living room a kitchen office area and we weren't paying that much i think we were paying maybe 50 dollars a night and we split it so just that is basically what i'm paying for this hostel by myself so like i said if you're coming with uh with a friend or someone you can split the room with um definitely makes sense in that case just to get the big room here at the vortex if you can find a promotion on it um, i was looking for tomorrow night because my wife is coming back we might stay there and there's rooms going in the in the vortex building for 
I think it's 13, 1300 baht. So yeah, that's definitely the play. We're gonna try and get that booked. All right, so right here, we have the hostel. Actually, I, I mentioned, I called it a capsule hotel. I don't really know if it's a capsule, capsule hotel or not. It's, yeah, okay, capsule hotel. It says right on the sign. That's where I got it from. But yeah, the Vortex building right here. And uh, let's head in. Very clean. Right, I'll show you the uh, show you the room. Yeah. 